morning, good afternoon, good night, depending which part of the world you're watching this video from. I am Black Bright. I had to remember which hat I had on just then. I am Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. It's the first time you're passing through, you know the drill, or you may not know the drill, but it's thumbs up, thumbs down, share, subscribe, and interact with my subscribers. Existing subscribers, thank you for your feedback, positive and constructive. Thank you very much and um, thank you for your support. Now today we have some breaking news. Well, it's not really breaking. It's been out for a couple of days. Jamaica has rejected, is rejecting, or should I say restricting Brits from coming into their beautiful island. So all those um, planned deportees, They'll have to stay in the detention center. Anyone who was planning to retire, they'll have to put their plans on hold. Anybody who was planning to get married or have a birthday party or anything in Jamaica imminently will have to put their plans on hold. The good thing is, is that Virgin, if you were going with Virgin, have a no change fee policy, which means because of what's going on, you're not going to be charged a fee for changing your dates. Now, what does that mean? It's not only Jamaica that is restricting the Brits, but it does mean that Britain is not only EU less, but they're also restricted by the disease or isolated because of the disease. And we're actually on our own. Diseased and isolated, EU-less, diseased and isolated. This country, Great Britain, that once was heralded, stood supreme, commanded respect. People were looking up to us and doing all of that. We're now bottom of the barrel, it would seem. Restricted from so many countries. Do you know how many countries? I mean, forget about Italy, who's restricting everyone. And I think Iran, who is restricting everyone. But people, the countries that are restricting the Brits, and you'll have to get this, um, this is constantly updated, you know, with this evolving situation. It can change at any moment. So check with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office for updates and accurate information but as of today we've got apart from Jamaica um, restricting us from traveling into their countries we've got Argentina Croatia Czech Republic Cyprus Denmark Latvia Peru Philippines Slovakia Spain unless it's absolutely essential and you can prove it and the USA but the USA have got a disclaimer. If you've been in the UK for 14 days or more, then you will be allowed in. But that could change. Um, 11,750 Brits have been tested. Um, 798 corona cases have been reported. And remember, that ranges from the common cough and cold to the extreme respiratory problems, and we've had 11 deaths. In most cases, it's the elderly with underlying symptoms, but they're not letting us know the demographics of those people who died. 11 deaths is still 11 deaths too many, but if they're all over 80 and they've all got existing problems, it will help relieve some of the panic and some of the distress. Um, We've been given a 30 billion stimulus package to protect the economy from the virus. Um, and then I read somewhere, is it safe to go to the Caribbean? Shouldn't that question be, is it safe for the Caribbean to, affect, to accept foreigners or people, you know, non-Indigenous people? Not is it safe for... That it, for us to go to the Caribbean, I think people have got this a bit twisted. There's no point being on your high horse now. You cannot afford to be on your high horse and claiming supremacy and all that kind of stuff. You're the same as everybody else. In some cases, it's worse. In some cases, it's worse. 
because feeling restricted and not being able to go on your holidays, your planned holidays, is not a nice feeling. Feeling isolated, feeling rejected, feeling like a minority, like so many minorities have been feeling. This is what it'll feel like to Brits who want to go to these countries and cannot go. It's almost like um, Britain has become a minority in itself. It's going to have all of, it's going to receive all of those, um, the bad side of what immigrants have been feeling, all the prejudice, all the discrimination. That is what Brits are going to be experiencing. And the thing is, is that the two Brits that contaminated Jamaica, I don't know if they were white Brits or black Brits. They're not telling us. As far as they're concerned, it's Brits. So no point thinking if you're a black Brit, it doesn't apply to you. Brits are Brits. And if you haven't got a British, if you haven't got a Jamaican passport, an active Jamaican passport, if you haven't got um, living parents in Jamaica, and if you haven't got children of, I think it was um, of your spouse, if your spouse is Jamaican, I think your children can go there. But they've got these limitations. You just need to check it out on their website. Who can go from who cannot? Who's restricted from who's not? If you're fortunate enough to have held your dual um, passport and it's active and it's valid, you're fine. But if it's not valid, you could face a few problems trying to get into Jamaica at this point. Hopefully this isn't going to last very long. Hopefully there is going to be some kind of resolution. But at the moment, everybody will. Most people are feeling isolated. I'm glad I took my trip in September when I did. I have no plans of going to Jamaica imminently, but even if I wanted to go, I wouldn't be able to go if I want to go to the States. Well, technically, I could go to the States because I've been in the UK for more than 14 days. But like I said, that could change. Um, what else have we got here? Um, for Jamaica, I put... Um, British, it's got two bad legacies now. It's got the deportees from Britain, and now we've got diseased Brits, Brits with COVID. I mean, as soon as they hear our voice, they're going to think, oh my God, I wonder if they got the bloody virus. They're going to, because, what? I didn't even notice Brits that they, um, that had the virus in Jamaica. So that's not a very good thing. It's not a very good look. Um, airline crew have special permission but are being placed in specific locations and they're restricted in their movements. Um, and where is it? Um, okay, only Jamaican citizens. This is what I wanted to reiterate. Jamaican citizens, their spouses, children of Jamaican citizens who are living and resident in Jamaica and foreign residents living in Jamaica will be allowed in if they're traveling from the UK directly or indirectly they will be allowed to enter and that's all I'm going to say now keep it short and sweet and to the point bye-bye